Hey, Car hey, Carol, did you hear the one about the constipated mathematician? Oh, no. No? I'm he had to work it out with a pencil. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, that means it's Saturday uh. night with a campaign. Welcome to Murder Hobo, Inc. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And thanks for being a part of us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want some of our cool stuff. It's down below, RPG swag. See, look at that stuff. It's everywhere. Uh, if you want to join us in chat, you can join us in chat on Twitch, or better yet, join us at tinyurl.com. Mhobo Inc. Discord for the Discord channel built by Blake and Carol. Uh, if you want to get a seat on uh, the panel, either with the talk show on Tuesday or any one of our game nights, which are completely random at this point in time uh let us know at mhobo inc on twitter or mhobo inc at gmail.com as i said this is the campaign uh viewers you recognize these guys uh i hope you all like the cute and clever movie uh created just for them uh let's introduce you to them and then we'll go ahead and do a recap uh first up kyle kyle who are you who are you playing um, hi, I'm Kyle. I lost the green screen, so I have to now rely on my own witty humor and banter. That's to not gonna laugh. <laughs> I'm going to have as much luck as Carol. Uh, uh, and tonight I will be playing Dewey Dacamel, the lab barbarian, uh, who is starting to get in over his head, but only slightly. Because sure. everything else is four inches taller. Nice. Uh, next up, Chris. Chris, who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, my name's Chris. I'm playing Miniz, the Aarakocka cleric. Um, and at this point, I think if all hell breaks loose, I'm just going to fly away and leave these fuckers back. You're, you're underground. <laughs> yeah, you're in a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I can still fly very low. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> I was wondering how you were going to fly away. guys. Why did you say that to him? I wanted to see him try and fly away. Oh, Kyle, we know Kyle will fix that. Uh, next up is Ernest. Ernest, who are you and who are you playing? Uh, so I'm Ernest. I am playing Lucas, the anti-druid. Um, and my goal, as always, is to try and stay alive. And I feel that this episode, it might be a little harder than most. Oh, you have little faith. Uh, Blake is next up. Blake, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, I'm Blake, and I'm, I'm, I think I'm still perpetual. Yes. I, yes. Uh, I think. Right. I, I think you are, yeah. Let's go with yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little halfling girl, and I shoot poison out of my uh, beaver house. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, the newest member of the campaign, first to die, uh, Carol. Thanks. Carol, who are you, and who are you playing? Hi, I'm Carol. I'm playing my wood elf, uh, Bard Taryn, and my goal, yeah, is not to die, even though, why do we always split the effing party every freaking time? Whoa, when did that happen? <laughs> when hasn't it happened? Yeah, Carol, and uh, we're the ones who stay put. Splitting the party. I'm only following you, Carol. I've learned everything I know from you. We're oh. like a shitty PSA, folks. Uh, as you have gathered, if you haven't seen the prior episode, these guys are underground in the dungeon of Battle Keep. They uh, did a little foray, a little foraging, a little looking around, a little explaining, a little mansplaining. And we find, as Carol has pointed out, they are separated yet again. Uh, in our last episode, they came across a lot of things, one of them being a cell, jail cell with a bunch of animated skeletons. The other one being Kyle's back. Yes. The, uh, some of them were uh, killed. Some of them uh, returned and created very, very minor problems for the party. Uh, mm -hmm. As we left, Taryn, Lucas, and Maniz were taking a short rest in the safe room uh, with an offshoot of two or three tunnels. Uh, Dewey and Sugar Tits, aka Perpetua, have returned <laughs> to head back to the dungeon room 
to see if they can find any clues as to how these skeletons got out of the cages that they were in. Or if they were even the skeletons in the cages to begin with. Yeah, yeah, that, that was more my curiosity. Touche. Hey, that you're right. That's a good point. And let's add that the party is not resting in a three-way split, but in a hallway, only two sides. Right. Let's give the, everyone the benefit of the doubt here. We're all not complete morons. Oh, so you guys didn't go back to the room? No. Oh, okay. Wait, no, they, oh, they, they were staying in the hallway, I believe. Okay, yeah. so just shy of the strange door that Perpetua found, oh, oh, we and were farther away from the feet away, I think. Yeah, there ain't five hundred feet there. <laughs> no, but, 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 but it, we weren't. We weren't in the back. room. Okay. No, so, no. So we got forward and back. Okay, that's fair. Ah, uh, Odd, Dewey, and Perpetua, even the other. Well, we'll start off with a one. Uh, Dewey and Perpetua, you leave the party. Uh, you fall in line to the small room that continues on to where you think is one of the uh, towers uh, at the far end of the structure uh, to hang a right and head back to the dungeon cell. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, yes. Perpetua, uh, are you still... or no? Say that, Kyle. But stealthily or no? Uh, no I was going to say stealthily enough, yeah. But oh. Are you going to continue to look for the uh, dark mantles, or are you happy? No, no, I, I, I think that since I did that the first time down here, that that was probably sufficient, so I'm not going to be... Fair enough. Uh, and you will be correct. There will not be any more dark mantles in this hallway. Uh, so quasi-stealthy? Uh, I'm watching where I'm stepping. I don't want to make any, you know, step on anything like okay. a phone, make any noise, yeah. Yeah, all five of you made it through here, so you're going through familiar ground. So even with your stealth or quasi stealth, you'll make good time. Uh, as you reach the edge of the room, uh, what would you like to do? Uh, first thing is uh, take a look around. Are the cells still closed? Uh, no, they are not. Also, this will have taken you about five minutes. We decided okay. the short rest was going to be 10, correct? I thought 15. But it, you know. 15? You want 15? 15 is fine. Okay, uh, five minutes, you get to the room. Uh, you notice a small, almost imperceptible creak uh, as you notice the doors of some of the cells are open. The doors that are closed already contain uh, piles of bones, burnt, charred, and shattered. Okay. There's also uh, a big was, table in the center of this area. We, we searched that, didn't we? No, we you didn't. did not. Is there anything with the table this time? There is an outline in dust of what appears to be a key. Yay. Now I will take investigation checks from both of you. Hey, guys, I want to remind <coughs> you, you each have a point of inspiration, and it's a D8. Yes, that is true. We did that right before you left. That's 10 minutes total. Left. Yeah, 10 yeah. total, five minutes left. Okay. Uh, investigation was 19. 23. 23 wins. Uh, 23, you notice uh, unusual prints on the floor. Not all of them. Where are the other prints? Uh, they're on the wall. Give me a nature check. Sure. I'll point these out to Perpetua, too. Uh, she, Perpetua, go ahead and do a nature check as well. I'll uh, bet 22 on that one. Uh, that's not going to be nearly as good, but I'm not going to waste the inspiration. It's a nine. Uh, I would say you'd probably still recognize Noel footprints. <coughs> uh, as you notice the tracks, they seem to go to all of the open cells. As Dewey has pointed out, uh, as he tr kind of trails them, they go up towards the northeastern uh, trail and they leave the tunnel 
and walk down the tunnel and then the farther you go it's like they're walking on the ceiling and so, this is the fork in this room that we did not take correct correct okay and so are these footprints leading from or going to our room from uh the northeast into the room and out the west where you had originally come from so it looks like somebody came into the room unleashed the skeletons and then left <laughs> so, they, so they were tracking us i uh, know they would not have come into contact with you well, but i mean they, they came in the same way we did seemingly after we did no, no, no. They're going out where you came in. So they came in. Oh, so okay. You they, came they in, came there's in the this we, room. And then you've got this one. The way we didn't go down. Correct. That is okay. where they entered, but they left, headed towards that monstrosity that Manise left in the hallway. Right. Way far away. Oh. Uh, one question with my uh, amazing uh, investigation role. How obvious are our tracks compared to this Knoll's tracks? Uh, same. Pretty same. So chances the, are the, the timeline is, is fairly conf or fairly consistent. I, I assume that's what you were one. No, how obvious are our tracks? You guys are walking through dust, so yeah, they're pretty obvious. Hmm. Okay. But when you first came in. None of you noticed any tracks in here. Right. But we could, we could hypothetically be tracked. Mm. Right. Easily. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, or you could, uh, the individual could be, or group, uh, could be on an evade mission. Because right. clearly, he, they, she, they didn't come looking for you. But he, they, she, they did unleash the skeletons and who are he, mindless. They, she, they is about to run into Menezes' guardian. Potentially. Should we see if, uh, was there a split between that hallway and the guardian? Yeah, the, <clears throat> if you stay on this track, you're going to get underneath the tower and then Menezes' thing is just about 10 feet down on the uh, west split and then carol went north so it could conceivably go carol, upstairs carol's dead ended though right correct because it was a cave in. to go down manise and perpetuous tunnel because we would have the guardian of faith behind us at our safe correct nothing is going to come from the far west but as you travel west you will not run into the guardian until you pass through the tunnel does that make sense yeah there's going to be an escape attempt if, they, if, they, if they're if that's what they're after yeah so do we see if we can find the knoll or do we go back I can send them a message and have them meet us when they're done. So and you're here. You. If you go back the way you came, uh -huh. you'll get to the tower where you came down the stairs. Yeah. And then right here is where the guardian is. And then up here would be where Carol went. What's the radius on that guardian? Uh, 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 yeah, my knees. It's your spell. I didn't hear the question, sir. Guardian, what's, what's the fate? radius on that guardian's effect? Uh, I was just looking that up to you. <coughs> so we any uh, creature no. hostile to me that moves to a space within ten feet. Okay, ten foot radius. Okay, so now say how large the guardian just is. Bring that room. Large. Okay. So, so that's say probably what ten feet, and then yeah. ten feet, so twenty foot circle total. So it would still be possible for he, they, she, they to climb the stairs and get above ground if mm -hmm. they spot the guardian. If they don't, the guardian's going to tear it up, yeah. or them up, or her up. 
I think I'm just confused by the continuosity because I thought we went and our tunnel was blocked off by the Guardian. And yeah, I thought we chose the tunnel with the Guardian. Yeah. Oh, I think we did. Uh, no, Frank, I think there was some confusion because I remember last time you thought we went down a different tunnel and then you were, I think you were just going to switch it. Because, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so the Guardian was in the southeast, right? Right. And we ended, I think what it is, is we actually, we got confused and said, it's hard when we don't have a map. Okay, so to be fair. But if I recall last time, it was like switched. Okay, so, so it, it is going to block the egress into the tunnel, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah into the tower. Gotcha. Yeah, into the tower room. Yeah. So it'll be very interesting if that knoll ran out and ran into it and got flattened. That's uh, and it's going it's going to be large enough to be able to take a swipe at the ceiling too. Right. Uh how long does that spell last, Manise? Like eight hours or something ridiculous like eight that. hours. Okay. Like eight hours. Okay. Uh that's about five minutes. Let's kick back over to mid short rest. Uh Manise, Karen, Lucas, you have gone ahead and uh bound your wounds. Uh, taking a breather, tried to get your spells back, yada, yada, yada. You are aware that there was a floating orb at the north end of the tunnel. I uh, think Perpetua told you about the door. Did yeah, there's like a, I think, yeah, we heard about the door. There's some, Perpetua, yes, did you tell whatever, about whatever, the door? I, whatever I had found, I disclosed to him. Okay, so you know that uh, just ahead of you is a short shoot into a tunnel. Uh, so, uh, you got, or do you guys want to shelter in place or do you want to wander away? Oh, no, no, no. We're going to wait till they come back. Yeah. Fair enough. And uh, we have the floaty orb and nothing good can come from that thing. Uh, Taryn, go ahead and roll a straight up D20. Let's see if floaty orb comes after you. What? <laughs> I don't want to do this. Oh no, three. Oh, okay. <laughs> we get, we get ten. Wait, do we get our ten minutes? You've got okay. ten. So, so is Manisa oh, wait, no, as well, or? wait, a short rest is an hour, not ten minutes. Oh, so you guys need so an we, hour? We, we've never used an hour yeah, for we, short rest. I think we okay, use fifteen. Whatever, all right. So yeah, whatever your house rules is, and that's obviously. Fine. So what is it? Ten minutes? Yeah, it's ten minutes. Do we get it so I can hit the button? Uh, no, but uh, the creature has entered your hallway. Fucking damn it. But it does not seem to come further. I will take an invest. Who? Uh, and first off, everybody do an invest or a perception check to see if you spot it coming down the hall. 17. Oh, Jesus Christ. 11. Manise. Perception. What rule, sorry? Oh, perception. perception. <coughs> uh, that'd be a nine. Uh, so, Lucas, you spot the thing first. You can go ahead and alert your associates. That's fine. But, Lucas, since you spotted it first, I will now take an investigation check as you peer down the hallway. You've got, what, 60 or 120 on your uh, dark vision? Uh, I do not know. Let's see. I wrote that down actually. What uh, else? I think it's 60. 60 is for what else? Yeah, I'm a what else. Uh, so yeah, give me an investigation check. All right, 19. Uh, there's something behind that thing. What? Um, cool. But you, I very, but, you, but you can't tell because it would be at the edge of your dark vision. I very, very quietly nudge Taryn and Manise and be like, and point in that direction and just say like, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> you don't scream like a girl, point, and then we run. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Well, I mean, I, I, oh, I, my I, face don't fail now. And then, yes, I do not wait for them. I start with <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I turn into a fly and buzz off. <laughs> yeah, I grab my stuff and I start retreating back to where those two went, I assume. These are you also retreating? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm not staying. Are you kidding me? Dewey and Perpetua, 
back to you guys. You want to do an extensive recon and waste more time or return back since it's been 10 minutes? Uh, I'm I, I, they're, they're kind of expecting us and there's been enough of a lead that if we're going to catch this thing in, in, in this area, we're fucked. Can we Wouldn't find it if we have maybe some of its blood if it had to pass the guardian? Do you want to that that was a uh, a distance. Do you want to go down that distance and check for it? Well, how long is the distance? Uh, you're looking at another five <coughs> another five there. Um five back and another five back and another ten back. So if whatever this orb is decides I'm gonna go down the hall you're going to be having a mess to sweep up. You don't know that. Right. You know. This, well, this I, I, know that I, would, I would be I would be aware that it could potentially head this way. I mean, yes, you all we all know that there was an orb and we you left your colleagues in the <laughs> yeah. and hallway. I, I, I'm, I'm saying there's no point in in tracking this thing at the moment yeah agreed yeah yeah so, so return. We'll, we'll, return. Yeah, we'll return so 10 minutes um well no it's only five minutes yeah it was five there five there five back so 15. Yeah. so uh taryn maniz lucas do you retreat back to the room that goes back to the cells and probably to the watchtower, or do you go further than that? I want to find them. I want to retreat till we find them. Maniz and Lucas agree? Yeah. Yes. Uh, about midway cool. down that hallway, you come into contact with Dewey and Perpetua as they are returning. I assume they will want to know what the fuck you're doing in this hallway and not where you were resting. And something else is behind us. There's something else behind us. Fuck. <laughs> is there a window? No. <laughs> hey, 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 well, the thing behind us is a no. What's behind you? A floating orb. The orb thingy. Oh, the floating orb. And something else behind that. I could not see. <laughs> We're fucked. Where we make a stand in the room with the cells? So the Alamo. To... Pick your Alamo, <laughs> Crockett. <laughs> we need to get through that body orb regardless. I mean, I suspect, maybe I'm wrong on which hallway we need to be in, but. There's another way into this area if we go and stand in the cell room. We have this more defensible. No, Maniz, no rest. <laughs> You got oh, 66%. You got 66%. Um, we could try again in here and hope the floor. While, while being chased, I don't think we're getting a short rest. No, well, no. I, 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 say we, I say we stay here and try and defend it here because if we go out to the, out to the cells, there's another way in. Here they at least have to. Oh, two mechanism. other ways in. Yeah. Yeah. Here they here. There's at least a bottleneck as to where they can get us. I know we're going to be sandwiched if something comes from the rear, but yeah, it's we, either sandwiched or ambushed. We understand that that's a risk here. If we go out there, we know that there was something that was coming here with a purpose. Yeah. Whatever. I'm cool with making our stand here. So in the middle of the hallway. So there's only two directions. Yeah. Fair enough. Taryn, since I had you roll the first time, you're going to roll three times. Okay. D20s. D20s. So give me your first roll. I don't know if I should roll better if I start shouting, come and get us. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you can skip the rolls if he starts yelling. <laughs> uh, well, all right. So I've got a 12. Okay. Next one. Uh, a 12. Does it need to be different? No. Okay. One, one. Uh, no, fifteen. Ha ha ha. Okay. As you Why brace you your... it's over, man. As you brace yourself for contact. Nothing happens. Can we get a ten minute rest? <laughs> you can try. 
Let's try. Um, is it I want to do so, Frank, really quickly, I want to understand the layout. So when I saw the orb, was it possible that the orb was actually going to come down and then turn down the other corridor towards the solid door? Or was it is possible because it did not reach that area. Okay. For all you know, it came about five, 10 feet down and just stopped. Got it. Uh, okay, so I let, have an let idea. the guys know. I'll scout I ahead. No. No more scouting ahead, please. Let's just rest for 10 minutes and hope we can get it in, especially for Manise's sake, which could help all I'm of us. I'm fine on health. I, do you get space no, like rest? rest? I, if we, we need to rest, let's, let's rest by the Guardian then. OK, then that's fair. That's actually that's probably fair. I like it. Let's do it. We're all going to the Guardian. We'll find out maybe if the freaking <laughs> Noel got smashed by the Guardian on the way out. That, that's that's kind of why I'm wanting to go back there. Yeah, that's fair. So you want to go back to the jail cell, back through the West. Yeah. Yes. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> as you get to the jail cell, Taryn, give me a D twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh no, two. Not quite a one. Uh, everybody roll a d12. Oh god. 12. Not, three. Oh no, wait, that's not a 12. My dice have had it out for me. They really have. Uh, that's, a, that's a big old four. Two. I, you're still worse than you. So Lucas is high with 12? Yeah. As you guys, I'm sure that's not why he's high. As you guys <laughs> enter the jail cell area, Lucas, give me a perception check. Modify 20. You notice something coming down that northeast tunnel. Northeast is, is the way we've never been, right? Correct. It is spherical in nature <laughs> and it is floating. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no. I step behind Dewey and I point it out. <laughs> hey, Dewey, look at that. We're getting this rest in, folks, before this fight. Uh, Lucas, give, give me a nature check, please. Ooh, nature check. Who's doing nature? Lucas. Oh, he pointed 17. it out. 17. It looks like a beholder, but it's not a beholder. Yeah. It's, it's eye stalks are all wilted. And uh, I, yep, it's, a, yep. it's a death tyrant. Zombie beholder. It's a what? It's Lucas? A death tyrant. Lucas, one more time. Zombie beholder. It's yeah. not, it, it is from the same phyla as a beholder, but it is not a beholder, zombie or otherwise. That's, that's what a death tyrant is, is it? Well, yes, I, it, it's not that. I, I wish oh. my. Yeah. Uh, is to the rest of the party so they're aware it starts to move towards you sensing the heat source Ooh. like let's let's deal with it um, when i rest with this thing floating around after us i i start how about this i catch the table on fire and i step away from the table <laughs> oh, no, God. i was i was trying to that's an oh, interesting. It's, it's sentient. I want to message it. Okay, fine. I don't I'll think it is it. sentient, though. Well, I mean, I don't know that because I don't. I, I Perpetua has never seen one of these fucking things. Correct. Go ahead. You can. Uh, you can message it. Uh, hail, we come in peace. Wah, 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 nah, okay. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, I'm like, I, I can, I can do that while, while we're still moving. It's, just, it, yeah, it's closing so. on you. Do you want to make a run for it or deal with it? Here? Okay, try. It's not making any kind of a response or anything. I'd Correct. like to flip the table on its side. The flaming table. I, I did. Like, <laughs> apparently, because everyone can play. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No no! I, I I was doing that while you were burning the table. So okay. Are, yeah. Are you, the table's on fire. Then, if no one stopped me. Nobody stopped you. All right, table's on fire. What are you doing? I Sack. think. Thank God. Now it won't be able to walk. Oh, wait, it's floating in there. <laughs> no, I get. I think I get why you did that, because if you knew, I mean, I Taryn doesn't know, but if you knew I mean, that this thing black. is called heat source, you just made a big heat source. Yeah. Do you want to try to retreat back to the Guardian? Yes. 
retreat. Who's in favor of retreating? Retreating. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if he keeps following us, oh, yeah. he's Three. right back there. Dewey and Perpetua, are you retreating as well? I'm going to shoot a crossbow at it and then run. And I'm going to hold the rear. I'm sorry, you're going to what? Shoot a crossbow and then I'll be behind everyone as a rear guard. Gotcha. Who is uh, the next one in line with Dewey at the back? I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll, since I'm assuming that we're still next to each other, I'm going to at least dagger at once before I leave. Okay, that's fair. So, uh, beer, please. Uh, guard my rear too. So, Denise, <laughs> Lucas, and Taryn take off. Dewey uh, affixes his crossbow. Perpetua grabs a dagger and flings it. Uh, Dewey and Perpetua, go ahead and hit it for me, please. No, I mean, I like, no. Oh, as I'm running to hiding run. behind the table, pulling out and shooting. Rogue wise, that would be shooting from a hiding spot. Do I have advantage? I'll give you a hint. It's AC five. I'd still want the advantage. Crit. He might crit. Well, not the crit. I just want the sneak attack. Sure, go ahead, take it. <laughs> but you, 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 you get sneak attack because you've gone and it hasn't acted yet this combat. I am not an assassin. I'm just a plan. Oh, that's, oh, fuck, that's right. Yeah. Never mind. When, when you find out in about 90 seconds, you will have wasted your time, but go ahead. I, I will give you quadruple damage if you want it. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, we'll find out. 90 seconds or whatever when he does uh, it. My, my, I, I connect. Uh, I do. Uh, 56 damage, Frank. Sure. That's Six awesome. Quadrupled. Yeah, that, that works. Thanks. Uh, uh, Dewey, Dewey and Perpetual, you both hit, right? Yeah. The gas spore explodes, sending spores in a 20-foot radius, catching you two uh, yeah, I would have I would have thrown at a range of thirty. Yeah, uh, so you weren't behind the table. I mean, I would be I would be behind the table, going away from it. The the table's in the center of the room. Right. So. So what would you mean be by behind it? This is a circular room. I uh, know the the room the table itself. Well, it's a circular room because it's got the three exits, and then the table is in the center of it. Right. What do you mean be by behind the table? I'm always going to be behind the table. The, it, the gas spores are not like arrows. They're just going to fill the air. So you I, are in the, I, I you are in the I'm, center I'm of the you, I'm telling you, I was, if I, could, if I could maintain an eye contact, like eye line of 30 feet while being towards the direction that we are going to head after we're done with this thing, that is uh, how I would have done it. This room's not going to be 30 feet. Because well, where, you're, where you're at, um, How far down the hall was it? Uh, it was in the room. That's why Lucas set the. Oh, I thought it was still coming down the hall. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys, both of you, need to DC yeah, fine, fifteen fine. con. Perfectly fine. <coughs> uh, I, um, Yikes! Is that a save or a check? It's a, it's a saving throw. A six, ah, a six, and a five. I am fine with a 15. If it was a check, I would have been fucked. Oh. Uh, Dewey, did you make it? 24. Okay, so you guys take half of 17. So take eight. Uh, you have spores in your eyes, in your hair. Uh, however, there is no gas spore in the room now. Wait, how many spores got in their hair and stuff? How many 2D4 spores got in their hair and stuff? Three, three D6, and it was a six, a six, and a five. Two well, I'm talking about the 2D4 effect, where it sprouts tiny spores. Yeah, uh, they made their saves, uh, and that's only after it dies. After the uh, creature dies, it sprouts 2D4 tiny gas spores. These guys will not be infected. Yay. And I think Dewey's immune to poison, isn't he? No. Okay. Those immune to poison are immune to this disease because it is a poison spore. So you take, uh, what, eight hit points of damage, uh, but you 
<coughs> excuse me, you've blown it up. Manise, Lucas, and Taryn, as you run down the hallway, you can see Manise's huge construct in the middle. Give me a perception check, all three of you. Uh, 14. 24. Manise is at the back of the pack because all he sees is either Lucas or Taryn's ass. Uh -huh. uh, Lucas and Taryn, you notice that the <laughs> end of the tunnel is filled with blood and gore dripping from the walls. Whatever Manise's construct uh, encountered, it has destroyed it rather easily. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Dewey and Perpetua, after trying to get the spores out of your hair. Are you gonna head back down the tunnel with the other three? That, that was the intention, I, I am. Okay, Dewey, same thing? Yeah. You'll, you'll be a little bit behind, but you'll be able to catch up spitting spores and worrying about disease that you will not get. Uh, Manise, as uh, Lucas and Taryn come to a screeching halt, uh, you also notice the blood and gore. Uh, Dewey and Perpetua, about another it, round it, later. It, you'll it, was that po a poison effect, Frank? It is a poison effect. Okay, because I have resistance to poison still. You have to be immune. Well, but I would take half damage if that was poison damage. It is, it is a poisoned condition. Okay, so it's not poison damage. Right. It is okay. a disease... Okay but it is a poison-based disease. So yeah, just eight hit points. Uh, so everybody's there. Uh, Maniz, I assume you can control your manifestation? No, it stands where it is. But anybody friendly to you can pass. Oh, yeah, 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 of course, of course. Okay. Uh, I, I sent you a quick message if you want to check that. Kind of <sighs> the situation. Come on, Frank, read your messages. <laughs> uh, I think 24. Okay. 24. Is that well within the boundary? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, whatever the hell uh, was there, it ain't there no more. Dewey and Perpetua, you can clue them in about whatever the hell this thing was. Uh, summarily must have released everything. Uh, Not, if there's viscera everywhere while well, Dewey's filling them in, I'm going to start looking around for a, a something that could be considered a key. Sure. Is this null viscera or is this? Uh, or I'll take a medicine check if you want to go ahead and do a dissection on it. Well, I can. Oh, 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 I, 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 I can do that. I, do that. <laughs> I got. I got medical. You know, I'm a cleric. Yeah, I'd say. These probably can figure it out. I'm still covered That's in a 13, everything else. So maybe not so like much. Go on. <laughs> yeah, a 13's not going to do it. Yeah, <laughs> also rolled the 13. Yeah. Unless yeah. nature is good, in which case I have a 19. Nature would be good if it was still intact. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing: Are there bones of a null-like consistency? <laughs> is it Length what? And girth. <laughs> Not like there bones of no like origin. <laughs> if you put it all together and not lick your thumbs uh, and skip the social distancing, you could probably assume that it was humanoid in size. Okay. But even the skull's been shattered. Uh, can I I'll taste a little bit of the blood. Okay. Give me a con check. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ah, you got salt manila, you're screwed. <laughs> 17. Yeah, high iron content. So it must have been a dwarf. <laughs> or it a dwarf. There's a lot of viscera. Oh, God. Ugh. Anybody checking your six? Give me a D20, Dewey. Are we resting now? Four. There's nothing coming. Okay. Um, and also, I do know that there was another being behind that gas core, so there is something out there still behind us. Right. It also now has had the opportunity to potentially leave. Yeah. All right. Well, we got rid of the gas core and we fled successfully. Should we go back and explore? Ten minutes. I'm still I'm still searching through the viscera. 
Okay. I would like to give Menezes rest to recover um, whatever uh, spells or whatever it is you were recovering. Uh, he'll get back his yeah, his uh, Vinity. channel of Vinities. Today, which I think is oh important. yes those I don't have any <laughs> so, yeah be a good idea <laughs> health I was worried about it was your abilities that I'm worried about so are you just taking 10 minutes to add to your other 10 minutes or whatever we need to do to rest and then ten, we're going to take to get a proper rest after having a partial proper rest ten, 10 minutes should be sufficient that'll give you 20 minutes and two minutes of harrowing behavior Ooh. So you guys wait 10 minutes. Uh, the Guardian continues to stand by to make sure nothing comes from the tower in. Uh, Dewey has got your six. Nothing is coming after you. After 10 minutes, you get your channel divinity back. <coughs> Lucas and Taryn, anything you guys were doing is fine. Dewey and Perpetua, you're going to need five more minutes if you need to get back anything. The, no, the point, I wasn't resting. That was the whole point. I got a 20 on my check to roll it, find something. I was looking for that key. Oh, yeah, no, there's, the key's not here. Oh, okay. If you go back and look, you'll see it on the floor inside one of the jail cells. Okay, well, yeah, I, thanks, for, thanks for that, but yeah, okay. I will assume that's the direction you're headed back. I could be wrong. Eventually, yeah, I would assume so. I, I still have a key. The brass key that's magical. Or brass. From the gelatinous cube. Yeah. Maybe so, it goes to that solid door. I'm, that's what I'm wondering. Maybe I want to find out. Side or yeah, I think, I, think, I think it must have grabbed the jail key and just dropped it after it didn't need it anymore. Yeah. So, uh, Maniz, Lucas, and Taryn, you're rested. What would you guys like to do now? Do you want to explore to the west, or do you want to return where you've already been? I want to check out yeah. that solid door, guys. Yeah, I want to go back to that door. And then how we'll about the door. before we go that way? Since we know that door was secured, we check out this other path where the where that spore thing came from. The north. Just to see, if, just to see if there's anything else that we may be assaulted I don't know by. Door was secured. Actually, it also. And to be fair, it also. Unless it's another gas spore we saw, unless there are two of them. I mean, then it would right, be because it would go to there that. was something else with the gas spore, is what yeah. Lucas had said. Yeah, so, no, there's multiple they, gas spores. What I'm saying is, if that was the same gas spore, then that, that way will eventually connect up. Because obviously. Oh, correct, correct, yes, yeah. So, so I'm I good. say we're going to explore this entire place eventually, so I don't care. Let's go somewhere. Yeah, let's, let's go do that. Good idea. So back to the jail cell? Back to yeah, the jail that's, that's the, the way yeah. we didn't. Uh, as you reach the jail cell, you will find some spores growing on the side of the walls. Uh, everybody give me an uh, investigation check. High one will spot the key in uh, the last cell that was open. 30, 20. That's in that one. We're going to grab 10, I think. The knees? Yep. What check, sir? Uh, just uh, investigation check. God, even the dice roller hates me. Wah. That's a big old nine. Yeah, Thirty twenty. Uh, Dewey, you spot what you didn't spot before, and that is the key in the bottom of an empty cell. <laughs> uh, the fire has burned out by this time. There's nothing but ash in the middle. Uh, the spores are not on the burnt embers because they would immediately burst into flame. You have the southeast uh, way that you've already uh, transferred through, and you have the northeast passage where the gas spore came through that you guys have not explored yet. Hey guys, don't touch the walls. I'm gonna squirt. I'm gonna squirt all over the walls. All right. Poison I'm spray back, against gas. The, back out of the room, back into the main hallway in case they blow up into little more spores or something. I like that option. Yeah, I think that's a good option. I'm going to go away We're from that area. Except for uh, Perpetua. I mean, should we just fire them? Like, or fire. Them? Do both. Combine. Sure. Like, you got napalm. That's napalm. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're going to napalm them. Yeah, like. We've invented napalm. It's canon. Uh, are you going to do it at the same time, or is one of you going to get the uh, first squirt or flame? 
I say we do it at the same time. Oh, I, 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 I reach out, I reach out to Lucas, pull my finger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> same time, or are you going to let uh, Perpetua do the poison? Um, I don't know if we should poison sure. the gas force. I don't know. They weren't poisonous. Yeah, they, they were just, they were nature. No, they weren't. Because I, was, I would have taken half damage if they were poisonous. I'm going to fireball these. I'm not going to wait. I don't care what happens. Fireball? I mean, <laughs> throw a <laughs> And we're all dead. <laughs> I said I cast fireball. <laughs> I didn't say everybody get out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> I said I cast fireball. Uh, the adventurers go into the jail cell and discover the charred corpses of five individuals. <laughs> A blast seems to be that a fireball went off in this room and killed all the occupants. Uh, I actually I, don't have fireball, so I'm just going to throw a ball of fire. Fire bolt, okay. Uh, that will suffice to do that. Uh, Perpetua, if you poison these things, it will increase their uh, replication speed. <laughs> So uh, Lucas starts laying waste. I'm still doing it over the fire. <laughs> okay, over the fire is fine. That's that's not going to be a problem because the fire is going to kill this thing. Who is now leading in the northeast tunnel? Well, no, I figured we retreated back, and I was oh, like, yeah, okay, the only two still in the room. Gotcha. Patrick would continue leading this parade. I, Unless, I, yeah, I, it was my impression that you were going to go forward and leave them to kill shit. No, that's no, fine. Back so, out. So all of the no, no, we're actually playing like smart now, Frank. Like, yeah, I, I know that's why I'm really confused. <laughs> uh, so I was gonna play like regular fucking adventures. You need to tell me because that changes everything. Uh, so uh, Lucas and Perpetua go ahead and take care of the remaining spores on the walls. Uh, now I assume we're going northeast as a group. Yeah, the what was the one we explored? That's the way we haven't gone yet. Yes. Okay, who's leading? You can go two by two by one. Dewey and Perpetra, right? As I'm just, yeah, it was, it was, it was Dewey we and Perpetra. Because we were short enough that everyone could go over us. That's, that's and a good And then Lucas and Manise were in the rear. <laughs> no, I want to be in second row. No, he can be in the second row, and the Manise and I can be in the rear. Fair enough. Uh, Dewey, you've rolled once before. Uh, Perpetua, give me a d20, please. 17. Fair enough. Uh, as you move down uh, the hallway, same construction, same everything. Uh, did you want to check the torch, unlit torch sconces? Check them. Because you haven't been this way. Yeah, I, I, if we hadn't been this way, I, I'd, I'd, look at, I'd look at Dewey and do we want to light? Do we want some light, or do we want to just check it? What do we want to do? The knoll got through rather safely, but he was also walking on the ceiling. Right, and there, he wasn't as much of a target. I, I, I yeah, I'll, I'll, you know what? I think you're right. The knoll got through. I'll, I'll take my chances. Fair enough. Uh, Dewey and Perpetua, give me a. Uh, survival check. I, I I can't really figure out a good check for this. Survival of seventeen. Did you say five, Dewey? Five, five and seventeen. Uh, Perpetua, uh, you're doing the math in your head, and you're thinking uh, if Pythagoras was correct, you should be coming up on a hallway. Oh, okay. I would, yeah, I guess I would have done that as just a straight intelligence check. Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, se yeah. 17 is, is plenty good enough. Yeah. Uh, you would say that you're probably coming up on it, uh, and the tunnel, like the other one, continues. Uh, if you still have your map of the above ground, you would remember that there is a secondary defensive tunnel in this direction as well. So you would surmise, and Dewey being a fighter or a barbarian would realize these things are all interconnected so that you can move troops 
faster <clears throat> without being attacked. So you can safely assume that you are in a big fucking triangle that is bisected at some point in time. How many footprints are there in front of us? Uh, just one set of footprints. Mm. Even on the ceiling. Correct. Lucas, uh, since you said it, give me an investigation check. 15. You notice that the stance is wider as if the individual he, she, they, it uh, was running. Oh, a long stride. Cool. Were, were there boots of spider climb in that pile of viscera that I was going through? <laughs> nope. There, there was old leather, which could have been either hide armor or maybe boots, but nope. Okay. Uh, so, go ahead. So, so, uh, so, what I the the whole purpose of that check was basically because I have dark vision, so up in front here, so I can see at least if I'm going to if there's going to be an opening. Mm -hmm. But I'm assuming that shortly is where it, when that's going to approach. We shouldn't have passed it yet, and I'm not. I'm not yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, I, I'm doing it right in here in the middle section, and once you guys are done with this dungeon, I'll show you how it's laid out and it, it'll make a lot more sense but, uh, but yeah. i don't think anything i don't think anything's fishy about that yet i i, I think that based on what taryn had said we're still probably going we're still going to have the opportunity to yeah you'll you'll realize yeah. since it's angled that the bisection is going to be a lot longer but yeah. if it is the same length as the other one you will be coming up on it momentarily and ahead of you you don't see anything hmm uh, which side are you on? Which side are you on, Dewey? Because it would be on our left. Uh, no, you're right. Maybe a secret yeah. door or something. Oh, no, you're... that's right. North, northeast is the way we didn't go. Northeast. I guess. Correct. Okay, yeah. So, which side were you on, Dewey? I, I figured I was on the right. Oh, I figured I was on the left, actually. Fair enough. Okay. Perpetua, you're going to see a, a cold opening uh, <laughs> indicating a passageway. Headed south, most likely uh, in the bisection spot. Where did, where are the tracks? Do they continue forward or do they take the bisection? Straight on. Okay. They're probably headed from the tower. From the other from the other tower. <laughs> so I'll, I'll point this out to Taryn. Yeah. Uh, and well, and everyone, but specifically her. Uh, this way should be the door. I don't know how far this goes. You would assume maybe another hundred yards if you were looking at your map and maybe so I would, I would, reasonable I would, guess. I would assume that this is going to be another downstairs entry point, like in the other tower. Or what? What based on what I saw above ground, what would I suspect would be the other tower? Yeah, it's the other okay, tower. So it would be a similar similar room to where the guardian is. If the tunnels were going at a right angle from each other, that this uh, hallway would be about a forty percent longer. I, I I know. I'm not worried about that. Okay. I just want. I'm just curious what there is. What I'm just trying to figure out what rationally what is there. If the, if there's if it's worth continuing on, or if we have, might I might as well just go to the door. You could safely assume unless the builders change something, which right. they could have, that it would be built in the same fashion as what you have already explored. That being said, Dewey, I'll take a D12 against me. And this is kind of an important one. It doesn't really matter what your answer is. Seven, fair enough. Uh, as you continue on slowly, cautiously, step by step, Wah, 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 wah. Out of that hallway comes another orb. Uh, since you guys didn't see it the first time, and Lucas did, Dewey and uh, Perpetua roll nature at advantage. This is not like the gas four? We'll know in a second. <laughs> uh, nature at advantage is... Uh, 19. Dewey? 19. 
both of you know this is another gas spore. Uh, I'll just shoulder Lucas because he should be right behind me and say, I, you want to deal with that one too? I'll pull my finger. How far away are we from it? Uh, you are about 10 feet away. Uh, those two are about 10 feet away. Lucas would be 15 in the middle and you would be 20. So we're 15 feet away from the gas spore? You are. So can we back up? Oh, I back up 10 feet and then throw fire at it. How fast does this thing move? The rest of us back up that Yeah, part. that's the question. How fast does this thing move? Actually, no, I don't want to trip over anyone. <laughs> Okay, well, one, one at a time, we'll start with Lucas. As you start to back up, you're going to bump into Taryn and Maniz unless you use your words. Yeah. Also, if you don't use your words, you're going to leave Dewey and Perpetua in front of you. Um, wait, do, does Dewey and Perpetua not see it? I mean, they, no, well, no, yeah, no, they Lucas shoulder you. Back it up. It, but but I, I'm assuming that we're, so, that we're like, we're, we're nut to butt, so I'm basically going to feel his presence no longer on my back. You are what they call danger close. Oh, danger close? Cool. Well, fuck it. Fire. <laughs> I'm assuming that the fire is going to obliterate the spores. That's why I say that. I'm going to back up five feet. Because Can I, think I put a cloth over my face, please? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, folks, wear a mask. The, the COVID spores. Uh, Maniz <laughs> and Taryn, as you start to back up, fuck it. Uh, Lucas, light it, hit it. Uh, it's an yeah. AC5. Oh, well, that was a 16 hit. It has one hit point, so <laughs> it blows up. Uh, I will have uh, Dewey and Perpetua and Lucas Roll the DC 15 con. Come on, guys. Half or quarter, quarter <laughs> or none. What? Uh, 17. So, quarter. Do we? Come on, do we? Quarter, Lucas. Uh, what's my con? Plus zero. So, I got a 16. None. So, uh, does a mask give me any benefit? Yeah, right. <laughs> I was holding my breath. Uh, two, a four, and a six. So 12 quartered is three. So Dewey takes three. Perpetua takes three. Lucas takes none. Uh, and there's spores all over. Some of them have been burnt, uh, hence the reduction in the points. Okay, guys, hold on a second while I clean up the spores. Okay. I retreat. I throw more fire. I'm like, and again, I'm poisoning over the fire. Okay, fair enough. So are you and Lucas are in front then? Because I think I'm helping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's fair. Uh, Lucas, D12 against me. Uh-oh. Six. Nine. Phew. Perpetual. No, 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 wrong, wrong animation. A third one comes in. Do you want to hit it? 15 feet away? Uh, no, you guys are on top of it. You're at the 10 mark. Back away. Back away. So we did, we, it, it was able to, we were, we were otherwise occupied and just didn't notice it. <laughs> it came in from that bisected hallway. Oh. Back away. Oh, I, thought that's where, I, I thought that's where we were looking to catch up. But <laughs> is it a big butt? <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's payback. <laughs> go ahead well, and hit it. Fair, I assume the room is full of fire, so hopefully <laughs> it'll go to the fire and won't catch all over. I, I've been dousing the fire. Oh well. Go ahead and hit it, Dewey. <laughs> Ernie, you're more like this. <laughs> 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 did you hit the AC5? Yes, I did. Hold on. Let me uh, do the quadruple damage. Quadruple. Uh, uh, Lucas and Perpetual, I'll take uh, saves from you guys. Because my con is not. Yeah. Uh, 16. More damage. I, I didn't hear either, any of you. <laughs> Perpetual. That was an 20 for me. Lucas? 17. And Dewey, what did you say? 
Uh, 64 damage, quadrupled. Oh, very nice. Uh, <laughs> excellent. Uh, Lucas and Perpetua, you hear a zing, and the damn thing explodes uh, as somebody behind you hit it. Uh, fortunately... Fortunately, you all made your saves, so you're going to take quarter damage. I'm going to keep I these. I slowly drop the crossbow by my knees. These, these murder hobo ink dice are really doing the job, folks. If you don't have them, show up on our show. Uh, one, three, and five. So nine. You know, I'd take two. I don't give a shit. Take two damage. Oh, that's saved? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no. What did, yes, because I gave damage to Dewey and Perpetua last time for being on the front row. So, yeah, that's quarter damage ish. So, yeah, two damage. Right. No spores. Uh, I assume. Oh, we, got, we got more work to do, Lucas. Let's finish this one up, too. We're going right. to crossbow just in case. Uh, you clean it up. Another one? No, nothing. Oh, thank you. Lucas or Dewey, uh, give me a D20. Let's see if you assume Lucas's head is another gas. <laughs> 18. I think he's okay. You should have turned into an elk. <laughs> I can't fit in these holes as a giant elk. So he gets stuck and die from hunger. Uh, so no, Lucas and Perpetua uh, do not see anything coming out of the bisected hallway. Of course, you're still a little bit back, so you may need to do the peek around. Yeah, I want to do that. I'll creep up there stealthily and peek around the corner. Just lift, lift me up and, 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 and push me around the corner. <laughs> oh, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll pick up Perpetua and hold Perpetua around the corner. See anything? <laughs> You surmise that this is the bisected tunnel. But do you see anything? I see tunnel. Okay. You, you might see broken bones from the skeletons. Yeah. Confirming that this would indeed be the bisected tunnel. <laughs> all right. Look, all right, guys. Forward. You can set me down now. No, I like forward, this. <laughs> forward. Towards the tower or forward down the bisected? Uh, towards the door. Hey, Dewey, you can on the bicep up in the front row by per perpetual on my shoulders. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm objecting, but only mildly. Perpetual, oh, do you want to ride on my shoulders? We had two PCs and one square. There we go. How high is the ceiling? Yeah. Uh, I, will, I will change my shape to fit. It, it will, I, I will allow that, I suppose. Uh, as you enter the bisected tunnel, everybody going down that route? Yep. Okay. I don't have a choice. <laughs> uh, now, you two do realize that you will not get your full dexterity bonus for your AC being on top of each other, right? Um, That's fine. I'm no gonna, I'm no gonna fancy off of them. I'm going to blink off of them as soon as there's damn, as soon as there's trouble. If okay. there's trouble, I would hope that if there's trouble, I'm turning into a bear. <laughs> In which case, I might stay on. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you go into the bisected tunnel, you travel not quite halfway down, and there is the offshoot tunnel that Perpetua saw earlier, and the magnificent door that is locked. Ooh, Taryn, you've got much, the much, wait, wait, much. Wait. Do we hear, We remember, we did you did see some, but somebody else or something else. Something, there. something. It could have been the other death scores. Are right. there footsteps coming from the door frame? Do we hear? Do we hear? Yes, anything? there are footsteps present at the door frame. No. There are also footprints in the bisected hallway. What kind? No. Hold on. Like, is it Perpetua and my footprints? It is. Yeah. Okay. Are there footprints on the ceiling? There are not. Okay. On the wall. Oh. Just to double check. The the footprints would have gone past the bisected hall towards what you assume to be uh, the tower. Okay. So yeah, that's where the null came from. I'm saying let's go back to the door, check that out. I want to open. You're, you're the door. at the door right now. Right, right, I know. I know. 
You said there but, was and there, and there is there is noise on the other side of the door. Is that what we established? Nope. No noise. I thought you I thought that you, I thought you said there were footsteps. No. I I thought you said there were sounds, not necessarily footsteps. You, you, you there there footsteps. were there you were meant, sounds of footsteps, meant, but that was you meant, you meant not prints. Do we? Oh, no, yeah, okay. There's no footprints. Yeah, I'm gonna start uh, trying to pick the lock on the door. If that's okay. Okay. if I, I'm gonna look wait, at the door for traps. Wait, there are no traps. Wait, Joey, why don't we see if this key works in the door first? Well, let's ahead. check it for traps first. No, no, no. no. Check it for traps. Put the key in. That's Let fine. me sit back a little bit. Does the key look like it fits in the store or no? You should oh. be able. To. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I got a slot that that key would fit in. Dewey, what do you think? I'm sure you do. A 22 to look for traps. You don't think it's trapped, but you're pretty sure it's locked. Is that the same key that would most likely go with the lock? Mm -hmm. I'll hand it to you. Business, you're the front of this party. I mean, all the keys that you found and all the locks that you found have all looked fairly consistent because Taryn tried to use the lock on the room upstairs that Lucas ended up bashing through. Okay. I'll take uh, the key from Taryn and try it in the door. I mean, it's got to fit in something. Taryn, do you want to give him the key? Yeah, that's what I said. I'll hand him the key. It fits. And you hear a click when you turn it. Oh. And there's, there, there's a give. So <laughs> it, it's not like stuck. So you believe that you have unlocked the door. Oh, I tried push or pull? Pushes in. I slowly push in and continue to look for traps or wires that might spring if I open the door too far. You <coughs> have to be explosive room. <laughs> As you open up the door, you see what appears to be a knight in a suit of armor right inside. Oh, 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 Manise, get up here. Is he moving? Perception. That one. You're pretty sure he's not moving. Uh, he's got, he's he's got a halberd right in front of him. Staring at the door or away from the door? It's like he's like the door comes in and he's lining it. Hassan Chop. I think I found the armory, guys. He, and I'll enter the door. Do you open the door? Open the door. You see several more suits of armor with halberds. Uh, all look okay. I mean, it, it, there's none of them glowing. Uh, human, behind, human size? What? Human size or midget size? Human size. This was a human si uh, human fortress. Uh, behind it, uh, you see some open spots where... Uh, gear once stood uh you see several uh helmets along a ledge it, it does indeed look like an armory as you open up further and start to look around you notice that there are four suits of armor here all human size a couple down this size and then uh an armoire here as soon as we, as soon as I have like full visual of this, I'm detecting magic. From okay. the top of Lucas? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Range. Sure. So he's got an even better view of all the magic items. Yes, I, yes. I, everything glows in even more vibrant shade of blue. <laughs> Nothing is glowing in this room. Ooh, okay. Oh, safe, guys. That, that'll, last, that'll last for up to 10 minutes focused on me. Sure. So I'll have a 30, 30 foot vision. By the way, I reclaim that. I take the key back. Okay. Just to is, the, the key. The key is glowing. Uh, the key is not glowing. Yeah, I don't know. We guys just... thought it was magic, but it, it's not. We thought it was magic because it was it was undamaged by the gelatinous right. cube. But the gelatinous cube just ate off all the rest. Correct. It's not a magic key. Okay. But I'm also assuming that that means I'm not going to. I, I, I'm not. None of these armors are trapped. This is all pretty mundane. So I'm going to pass that on. I mean, the undead glow blue. No, not when you detect that, magic. That would, that, would, that would be detect good and evil. I think. 
So who's in this room besides Dewey? No. I'll, when I take the key, I'll walk in. Are you giving her the key? No. Why not? Because it's sitting on the key ring of the other key I have. I have two keys now. I'm collecting them. I would like it back for now. You know, you know what? Uh, Perpetua, give me an investigation. You know what? Fuck that. D12 against me. <laughs> Nine. Two. Uh, there is a faint glow coming from the armoire. Okay. The I don't base. point that out yet. I don't point that out yet. That was my question. Is there anything like chests or or anything like that? Yeah, well, I, I have to wait for Lucas to Lucas to carry me in before I can give you a full assessment of the room. Does the light just bl glow blue for you or does it glow blue yeah, for you? Yes. For him. Uh, oh, I, I yeah. sense it. Oh, okay. I, I sense it. He also oh. senses the, the school of magic. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, everybody, nobody else recognizes this. Uh, Perpetua notices the, there's the faint hint of magic uh, beyond or inside this armoire, rather. And, and what kind would that be? Because it does say I do I do know the school. So would it be like? Uh, Creation, evocation, uh, illusion. I, I don't know. Ab abjuration, I believe. Abjuration? Okay. abjuration. Abjuration. Okay. I would that's say. Fair. Cool. Yeah, I, I think that's what it would be. I step into okay. the room behind that's Dewey. That's What'd you say, Lucas? I step into the room behind Dewey and Taryn. Okay, you're gonna have to dip down, or you're gonna hit Perpetual in the face with the archway. I'm definitely, I'm definitely ducking. Okay. Um, yeah, am I aware that I need to duck? Do I pass that wisdom check? Give me a wisdom test. What DC what? You're gonna get you're gonna get stabbed in the neck so hard if you don't. <laughs> well, that was a twelve on wisdom. Yeah, you'd know that you have to duck, dip, dip, bleh, dip down. Okay, I duck a little bit. Uh, perpetually, you do the same thing to see if you ducked enough. I duck enough. Oh, I'm like, I'm like. Small, 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 but that's fine. Yeah. Nice. Uh, that's, that's a. Is that intelligence? Wisdom. Oh, a wisdom. Uh, six. Uh, you scrape your nose. Because you. I'm not, drop, you, I'm, you not drop, look, I'm not looking up. Yeah, but you're dropping down. Because if you lean forward, you're going to block his view. And then put you your nose. No, no, I'm, like, I'm like. I'm There's like no damage. Back. There, yeah, there's no damage. You as you yeah. fall back, yeah, you it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, are you going to stay on his back? I, I don't really have much of a choice because he's got me by the ankles. Do I have you by the ankles? I just yeah. assumed you had a help hold of my forehead and your ankles. Oh no, I thought I thought you were I thought you were like grabbing my like carrying my feet like a backpack. No, I put you up there and then I let you handle yourself. Oh, okay. Then I dismount. So Dewey. Taryn, Lucas, and the dismounted Perpetua are all inside this room, correct? Yeah, Manise, so, yes. get in here. Manise, are you coming in? Um, yeah. All five of you are in this room. It is 20 feet wide by 30 feet long. At the far end, opposite the door, is this nice armoire probably holds missile weapons would be your best guess dewey if anyone tries to open it i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to pause for a second and you can ask me why but you'll you'll understand that that's probably because i see something is it made of material well that i mean inside i could I'm, try to cast detect magic to see if there's anything I already did. That's oh, why okay. I was saying give it a, okay, give gotcha. it a second. It's like, yeah. yeah. So you can cast it if you want to figure it out for yourself. Oh, you that's are. fine. I'll, I mean, if somebody's I'm, already I'm just, I'm, I'm just giving it a thorough, he, he, thorough. He, 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 well, I don't know if he told you guys he was going to do it or not. No. Well, so, you would have heard me do it. You would have heard me do it because it has a verbal component. True. So, so Maniz, you know that uh, Perpetua <laughs> has detected magic already. 
Yeah, I, I would have also known since I know the spell as well. Okay. Then, then we all look at Perpetua go, did you see anything? <laughs> Well, but yeah, and by now I'm in front of the cupboard and that's why you're, you're able to kind of figure out maybe I did, but I'm not saying anything yet. I'm trying, I'm really giving this thing a hard, hard, hard look. Cool. So you walk the 30 feet up to the front by the armoire? Oh yeah. I, I make almost a beeline for it. Okay. So you are... 25 feet away from everybody else at the front of this armoire, right? If no one, if no one followed me. Anyone follow, him up or follow her up? Was there any other weapons in this armory other than the halberds and the armoire? Uh, shitty swords, uh, some daggers, old crossbows with broken strings because of age. Sure. So none of the weapons are really viable in here. Nah, they're all hunks of shit. I'll at least 100 years old. Uh, I'll follow Perpetua and make sure she's all right. So do in Perpetua are in front of the armoire, Taryn and Manise and Lucas, what are you doing? I'm walking up there too, because I'm thinking that if we have to break in the armoire, I might give Dewey some inspiration. But, um, but I'm like, but me knowing abjuration means that this thing is either protected or trapped. I am going to go to the armoire just in case. Is the armoire glowing or is an item within the armoire glowing? There is a faint light at the bottom of the armoire. So the armoire is not lit, but only apparently Perpetua knows this. Right. But, right, but, but it, 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 it's, it's almost emanating through, because yeah, it, it works through wood. Yeah, everything but like a foot of step. Yeah, it's not the armoire, something within okay. the armoire. It's and it's not like a glyph on the inside of it. You have to open it up. Yeah, you got to. Well, open no, it. Does, it, does it actually have shape to it, like for like height? The glow. Yeah, it, it's just I, coming I, I, from I, a weakness I, I, again, in the wood. I have, I have Superman vision. I can see through it. Um, there is something that I can't tell you. So, no, you it, do it, not it, see it, anything. It, but it, it doesn't have height. Like it's not it's not like it's something written on the bottom of it. Because that wouldn't be have a, height. I'm, I don't think I'm you'd be able about to that. There, there's there's something very specific about this, and I cannot give out too many clues, nor can I give out a viable no description. Can we just open the armor? Yeah, can we Check open the armoire for traps and then we open it? Dewey and Perpetua are in front of the armoire. It's not expansive, so only two of them can be in front. Uh, yeah. Lucas and Taryn, you can be directly behind them, you can be flanking them, or whatever. I'm going to be behind them looking over their heads because they're tiny. That's fine. But yeah, but I'm, I'm like, I'm going to do a hold Lucas so he doesn't do anything stupid. I'm here for the Dewey is checking for traps, so Dewey can't. Okay, he is. Then I'll I'll, I'll I'll turn I'll turn I'll turn big and hold this. Dewey, because I feel this is a rather important one to make. We so you are, yeah. Armor? like why? I'm gonna say problem? you can do this, Dewey. I give you a point of inspiration. Uh, well, because you uh, gave it to me, I'll go ahead and use it. Good. And, and I will warn him that, uh, that it does seem to be on the bottom there and help try to guide him and see if I can help him. Dewey, you can do this. 30. Get into this. Yeah, there's no traps here. There's no, absolutely no traps here, guys. Absolutely no traps. None whatsoever. All right, now get us in. You may what about want to dispel it before we open it. What? Uh, I will try to open up the armoire carefully. There's a little finger hook on it so you open the finger hook perpetua are you focused on lucas or are you focused on the arm no i was i was i was helping dewey by trying to explain things but i was trying to basically block lucas you can do one or the other block me with my body with the, my back body what, what are you trying to block you're me? short he's looking over your shoulder i said I, I said i turned big you can't really do that as a changeling what do you mean Changelings aren't allowed to uh, change size. Yeah, but we've been playing that I could turn into a tiefling. Every time you've turned into uh, Lady Torgal, you've worn her clothes and 
as a halfling. So uh, you won't be able to block Lucas. He'll be able to look over you. Uh, so you're focused straight ahead then, correct? Yeah. Okay. No disadvantage for you. Dewey, are you going to open up the door? Very carefully, yes. You open it up. And again, Perpetual, you're the only one that can see this blue light. Right. But again, I was trying to describe its location to Dewey. Uh, okay. Uh, you will notice as he slowly opens it, uh, there's a slight depression, like a submerged living room. And there are several items on the floor uh, that are glowing. Uh, so it's a portable hole. It's a portable hole. It is not. It is a secret room that houses the uh, large. Oh, cool. With eye stalks. I will take nature check from Dewey, Perpetua, and Lucas looking over the shoulder. 18. Uh, that's only a 10. 10? Lucas? Modified 20. This ain't what you've been fighting before. I'll take initiative. Initiative. Nat, nat 20. I also have a nat 20. By the way, I can make nature checks too, and I could see. So that was a 17. Do I know what this is? You know, it ain't what you were fighting. That's all? We don't know what it is? It's a beholder. It is a beholder. Yeah. Dewey, what's yours? 17. Uh, Manise? Nineteen. Lucas? Nine. Nat twenty and Taryn. Eighteen. So uh creature and perpetua followed by uh, my, my nat twenty is a twenty-four. I don't I mean you'll lose that one, but I don't I, we're both no, nat no, it's just it's just for your information. Yeah, we're both nat twenties. We'll go at the same time. Uh you can go first. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, blink. And that's my turn. Where are you blinking to? No, no, I cast blink on myself. Now I'm ethereal at the end of every round. Gotcha. Uh, and the first round, I go ethereal. Uh, you and I are acting the same, so that's fine. <laughs> Maniz, you were not up, right? You were on... You were back further, or were you with them? Oh, I was with them, like okay. little. So, all of you. <clears throat> so D10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will go with. I just hit everybody with an eye. No, uh, there's something else wrong here. A four. Manise and a one. Uh, Manise DC 14 con. Ooh. Dead. That'll be an 18. Uh, a glow encompasses you. Uh, you kind of squint your eyes, but whatever it is, uh, it didn't go. Uh, at the end of the turn, uh, Perpetua goes ethereal. And Maniz, you are up with your 19. Um, so who's, who's around me immediately? Uh, if you're on the left, it's going to be Dewey and Taryn. If you're more towards the right, it's Lucas, because uh, Blake just disappeared. Hmm. I will use resistance, okay. uh, which is a cantrip. Uh, I will touch Dewey, and he gains a d4 uh, to a saving throw of his choice. Fair enough. You can roll the die before or after making the original saving throw. Sure. Taryn, you're up with an 18. 
All right, so I said I made a decent nature check and I probably know about the flipping big eye and what it does. So I'm thinking of casting magic missile and I can control this hit of hitting, going around and hitting it away from the anti-magic ray. <laughs> Cast? In the front. Uh, let's see, how many do I wanna do? I can't do fourth level. Let's see. Fine, I will do it as a third level magic missile. And what is it? So it'd be 3d4 plus, all right, yeah, 3d, I assume it's 3d4 plus three. Um, so that's seven, that's 10 points of damage. And as a bonus action, I'm gonna lay a hand on Lucas. I'm like, come on, we gotta kill this thing. What we need is probably beyond it. And I'm giving you a point of inspiration for uh, D8. You said 10, right? 10 points of damage, yep. Gotcha. Got oh. that, Lucas? Lucas. And what about it? You have a D8 of inspiration. Thank you. Uh, Lucas, you're up with your 19. <laughs> What? No, I had a nine. Oh. 17 with Dewey? Se 17, yeah. 17, nine. 20, uh, I will draw out 13. the <coughs> hammer and chisel and start going to work on this thing. Uh, recklessly attacking. Manise was the 19. Yeah, right. Um, 19 on the die. And 14 plus 7. So 21 to hit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah. And so I start swinging for his eyeball. The first one does. <coughs> um, 10 bludgeoning damage. 5. <laughs> Radiant damage. Gotcha. The second one is 12 piercing damage total. Uh, and I rage. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, Lucas with a nine. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so how far away is it from me? It's like right on top of you. Oh, okay. So I'm in melee range. Yes. Cool. So as my bonus action, I turn into my cave bear form. Gotcha. And then I'm going to do, 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 do my multi-attack. So bite and claw. Gotcha. And that was an 18 to hit on bite. Uh, yes, that hits. Cool. And a... <laughs> 22 to hit with claws. So I guess they both hit. Yep. So let's see here. Damage. Bite does 11 magic piercing. And claws is 9 plus 8, 17 more damage with claws. <coughs> Got it. Uh, top of the order, uh, Perpetual, you and I tied. I'll let you go first again. Blair. You're, You're muted. muted. You're muted. You're muted, Blake. I'm gonna be right I say you're going to argue with me on this, but listen, listen to me. I get to reappear. I get to choose where I reappear within five feet of where right. I disappeared according to the spell. Mm -hmm. How far away was I from this thing when I disappeared? You were like five feet from it. I want to reappear on its back. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Okay. I get that. I'm going to stab its eye. Did you bother? You know what? I, I'll cut you some slack here. Give me an intelligence check. Uh, uh, 12. You will knock yourself out because there's not enough room for you to ride this thing. It 
encompasses the entire armoire area. So oh, I you, thought you said that, I thought you said like hidden living room. I thought that there was an extra dimensional space in here. There is. The thing is in the entrant way. Beyond okay. it, beyond it, yeah, it's open. If you okay. want to get on top of it, you're gonna appear in the stone ceiling above the armor. Okay, and then there's not enough room behind it, directly behind it either. Oh yeah, you can pop in behind it. Okay, hey, well then that's what I'll do instead. Okay, that's fair. Hey Frank, there's yes, a point of clarification. Where is which direction is the eyeball pointing? At you guys. Oh, so then my spell when I would have had to I mean, had the move. I would have had to move out of that freaking cone because I didn't realize it was right on top of us when I cast the spell. I thought it was. You guys back. are you guys are right there, and Dewey opens up the door, and boom, the damn thing. This the armoire is a doorway. All right, so so then it's, so, so it's, it's it's filtering the cone. Right, but I still want to make Chronicles of Narnia, like, folks. Chronicles of spell. Narnia. <laughs> I basically would have to make basically shift over a little bit just to get out of the, the cone shaped uh, dead magic field because otherwise I can't cast. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, it is is a cone of it'll kill all magic. So I could not cast magic missile if I'm in that area of effect. Who, but if I get, what, uh, okay, I, I maybe I missed something here. What dead magic cone? The, the I, uh, beholders have an anti magic field that shoots out of their main eye. Yeah. Usually they do. Now, may, all right, maybe I'm wrong about your beholder because maybe you're doing your own rules here. But no, that, I, I'm not, but this isn't, I don't think it's what you think it is. <laughs> we, we, we haven't established that it's a beholder. We've just established Yeah, you guys are just before. assuming but things here. <laughs> but still, but still, so, but I well, want to we, put a move. So okay, not, you, so you stepped out and you hit it with a magic a better description, then this isn't what you've been fighting before. Right. But it's still, a but, large orb with eye stalks. Yeah. You guys have never run know. into what, something like this. I know, but right. give us a color. Like you were saying the other eye stalks were wilted. These seem to be alert. Yeah. Well, you saw the one eye stalk at Zach Manis. So, yeah. I mean, how, many eye stalks? I, how many of you guys have seen a beholder? In game or out of game? No, no. In game? But, but who knows? Who when knows? did you see one? First five levels of her career. I'm in the library all the time growing up as a young gnomish lad. Sure. Books. We were we grew up at the academy. We had a basic understanding of most magical sure. creatures. You grew up at the academy. I grew up in a library and then the academy. You know what? You guys will assume that this is a beholder. Yeah. Oh, that you said it was with our knowledge nature checks that were decent. Yeah, that that's fine. Uh so yes, so Perpetua, you blink in behind it, correct? Correct, and that's the start of my turn. Go ahead and finish your turn. Uh, with the remainder, what, what color is it? Uh, I'll say uh, brownish gray with patches of white. Okay, so it, it's not like flaking off? No, it does not have dandruff. Well, I mean like decomposition. Do you want to inspect it? I'm, I'm literally staring at it in, in its ass. And you're literally going to be blinking out of here in just a second. So I, I, I know, but I can see it. I can see it from the ethereal realm too. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. This asshole doesn't look like a beholder's ass. <laughs> I know a beholder's ass. Those are in figure eights. This is a star. Uh, you do not notice any. I, 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 you cut out for a second. What was that? You, you did not notice any. Okay. okay. Uh, then I'm going to plunge in and try to drag down from behind with a with a with my dagger. Try try to di like just with all my little halfling strength disembowel this thing from the back. Good luck. Go ahead. I, I know, but I mean, I don't know any better because so, so don't act like it's a stupid thing to try. It's a stupid thing. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you don't. Let him do it. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, you're it makes, doing it. I don't mind. It makes mind. sense to want to do that, doesn't it? Sure. I, I would be more attuned to shooting it with missiles, but that's me. 
but yes. I'm going to well, disappear again after I'm done, so I'm not worried. Yeah, well, you remember you and I tied, so. I know, but I still have the, I'm potentially going to disappear. But right. I'm not, but it, it's not a stupid thing to want to try. No, I, you, you try whatever you want. I do not mind at all. No, I know, but you're, you're making that face, and I don't like it when you make that face. It's, it's not a stupid thing for normal adventurers to try. I, I, I have fought a, a beholder before, so I look at it entirely different. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> uh, seven damage. Sli uh, slashing, right? I'm, I'm, I'm piercing it with my dagger. I'm trying to drag it down. I do that. Do with that what you want. Gotcha. Uh, and then you're going to be disappearing, correct? Well, I have to, I have to roll. Okay. Uh, that's, no, I'm sorry. That was eight damage and not seven. Got it. Uh, 16, I disappear again. Uh, Dewey, you're going to get the bite. Taryn, you're going to get the eye stalk. So, whew, Jesus Christ. Uh, Taryn, you better make a DC 14 con, and I am not kidding. Uh, Dewey, I will try and hit you. At advantage. Oh, are you reckless? I was reckless, yeah. What is it, con? Uh, 714. Only a 17. Uh, that is exactly right. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> This thing's kind of nasty. Roll, roll your damage from probably this disintegration. Uh, two fours and two ones, so 10 damage, Dewey. Uh, did you fail it, Taryn? Yep. Oh, shit. Uh, a bright beam of light comes out of its third eye stalk, and Luke Skywalker is your ass. Yep, I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. It's the evis evisceration ray. Ooh. Disintegration. No, evisceration. Evisceration? Remember, this is his own fucking creation, so. <laughs> nope, it is not. It's right out of the book. It's probably just a probably like a gawker or something. Uh, that's low. 15 sure. damage max. Uh, Seven, let's... one, two, and five. Ha. I probably would have been okay even if you went a bit higher. That's still. Uh, dice giveth and the dice taketh away. That's not, that's not even half. But that's good. 19, Manise, you're up. It scares the shit out of me. Um, I will take out my crossbow and fire the crossbow at the thing. <coughs> and I roll a 12. Uh, that does not hit. Okay. And yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, Perpetua. Give me a percentage roll since you're in the ethereal plane, please. And 18. 92. Okay. Uh, Taryn, you are up next. Uh, Perpetua, <sighs> way off on the foggy perimeter, you see something, but it's not within range. Taryn, what are you doing? Uh, well, I'm good, okay, on hit points. Uh, and I'm going to assume that magic missling it did something. So I didn't think I have anything else really good like that. So I think I'm going to do it again. Okay. Uh, come on. Oh, that's good. Four and two, three. So that's 10, 13 points of damage from pew, pew, pew. <laughs> hit points. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Next up, 17, Dewey. Uh, recklessly. <coughs> with the hammer, uh, 19 on the die to hit. Hits. Uh, next one is a 16. Hits. And final is a natural 20. Hits. Which sucks. That's the best, worst one. <laughs> Uh, now, now hang on hang on just a second because this is kind of important so with your first hit uh-huh how much damage do you do first one is bludgeoning we have 10 damage 
Okay. And then radiant five damage. Okay. Second one, all piercing, non magical, is nine. Uh, 14 piercing damage. Stop. <laughs> My piercing was also magical, too, if that matters. No, the, pier the piercing's fine. I just. Uh, with that attack, you knock it down. Okay. But you said 17 on that uh, one? Yeah, so that was a 17, I think. Okay. Uh, it falls down and it comes back up. What's your third damage? Third damage is the crit. Nice. Uh, 10 uh, damage. It explodes. <laughs> and there's viscera and goo everywhere. Uh, next up is uh, Lucas. Lucas, uh, you see this thing blow up. What do you want to do? Um, cool. Do I see any other enemies behind it? Other than Perpetua, obviously. Perpetua is <laughs> you, you, you didn't see me. Oh, okay. uh, go ahead and uh, give me a perception check. 18. You see skeletons, but they are uh, not animated. Okay. Uh, there's some old tapestries. Uh, this area looks like a private study. Cool. Um, so, I, out of game, was that a, a Eye of Frost or something? Yeah, it was a Beholder Zombie. Beholder Zombie? Uh, it's over there, cloudy eyes. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that. Okay. So and that it has undead fortitude. So yeah, that's why we're yeah, that's when fine. you hit zero, you got to make a con save DC DC five plus the damage done. Uh, I got another nat twenty, but I only got one hit point, and then you uh, destroyed me with your crit hit. So uh, we'll break to perpetual. Well, what do you want to do, Lucas? Do you want to go inside or do you want to hang back? Yeah, I'm gonna step inside that room. Okay, it, it is like a sunken living room, uh, and you see a variety of things on the floor. Um, give me, give me a percentage roll. Percentage. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Fifty-two. You see two items of note. You see uh, arrows strewn about, and you see three scroll tubes, a leather, an ivory, and a bone. OK. Um, so I don't see anything relating to the piece of the rod of catching? Correct. Oh, that sucks. Because you have the book, right, that describes it, or is that many? Yeah, I, I, I was the one who read the book. And then I okay. gave the book to Dewey, I think. Gotcha. Perpetua, uh, do you come back from the ethereal plane? I don't have a choice. I automatically come back. It's only if I disappear that matters. Okay. You So I'm going to I'm going to appear into the room. Fair enough. You are in the room. And my, and my detect magic is still up because I haven't broken concentration. Correct. Wait. Wait. Now was the other one was the blink of concentration? I said I haven't broken you know it's no it's just I, I'm going to be doing this I don't have a choice okay yeah, but I, this is one of those I can't I can't end this spell I know but okay. the, the thing is we we're trying to figure out if casting blink ruined detect magic right and I'm saying it's not concentration that's why I don't have a choice in whether or not I stop blinking got it okay uh so okay you blink uh where are you going to go in the room well, with my detect magic, which I can also, I will also be seeing from the ethereal plane. Do I see anything besides its spell tubes? Uh, give me an investigation check because one item is obscured. Again, I, I, if it's more, if it's less than a foot of stone, I, I have Superman vision. If there's a magic item and a magic item, you're it only going like to see the magic item. It looks like one large magic item. Correct. Okay. 
uh, investigation is going to be 21. I would say that you probably see uh, the distinction in items. You notice that there are three scroll tubes. Uh, you notice that there are a sheaf of, uh, let me check, 18 arrows, uh, and you see a round ring. Okay. Uh, that's gonna, I'm going to say that's my action to, to look around. I'm going to have my movement. I rolled a six. That's going to be my turn. I don't disappear this turn. Okay. Uh, let's go with. If we want, if we want to draw combat, I'm fine with that. But I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to be in and out. I have a feeling I'm going to be battling something in the ethereal plane. Yeah, if you're going to keep blinking out, we'll just keep going by uh, the initiative roll. So 19, Manise, uh, the damn thing exploded. There's crap everywhere. Lucas has gone in. He's looking down at the floor and sees stuff. What would you like to do? I'm just going to hang back, I think. Kind of uh, keep fair. an eye out. Uh, next up is the 18, Taryn. God, uh, I'll go in there and, I mean... Is there anything else they haven't found that I can find? Give me a percentage roll, please. Percentile, because I really want to find this freaking item. Otherwise, uh, I mean, there's no other clues in the book of where it's located within this place, right? Correct. It's in Battle Keep. Uh, 62. Uh, that's still only two. Uh, but you see a ring, and you see the arrows you do not notice the scroll cases. I see the, what was the other thing? The what? A ring? There's a ring that has arrows. About. Oh, arrows, okay. I heard air go somewhere. The arrows are standard around. They're like loose. Yeah. Uh, 17, Dewey. I'll come down for my rage. <sighs> I'd study. Is there books? Investigate, or uh, percentage? Percentage, I like books. Give me the books. Uh, that's a 16. Uh, you see the arrows. You don't see any books. Well, this study sucks. Uh, <laughs> top of the order, 20. I want that ring. Wait, top of the order? You want Lucas. He's number... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's right. Lucas. Lucas, you saw the arrows. You saw the scroll tubes. There are three scroll tubes. There are 18 arrows. Um... I revert from bear form as my bonus action. And then as my action, I point out the scroll tubes to Dewey and say, hey, look, those are almost like books. Ooh. OK. Uh, we didn't roll on the encounter for the. I didn't disappear, so I don't know. Oh, OK, OK, OK. Uh, so you were standing there as well. You noticed you've noticed all three things because you've got the detect magic it's up to you i said i want the ring you reach down knock over a few arrows grab the ring uh it is gold it is unadorned uh there is no inscription on the inside uh, throw it into the flames though you'll notice an inscription show up Right, because it's a dwarven ring. I, I want to try, if, if it's under arrows, I want to try and make it look like I'm collecting arrows. So I want to do that with sleight of hand. Go ahead and do a sleight of hand check. Uh, no, four. Okay. Uh, you go, whoo. Uh, that's fine. 19. Uh, and and uh, do you disappear? I, I, have to, I have to check if it's 11 or higher or 10 or higher. I think it was 10. Because I rolled a 10. But, but I'm not sure. Uh, on an 11 or higher. So, All right, so you go back. A 10 I stay. Uh, give me another percentage. I said, I said it's 11 or higher with a 10 I stay. Oh, OK. Beneath, you're up. Do I see anything that may be of any interest to me around? Uh, you see everybody pile into this room. You check your six. You got nothing coming up. You don't hear anything. Um, pretty right, much, I'll, they've all 
piled into Narnia's entrance and you can't okay. see much of all. You can probably see Perpetua, maybe. I don't know. Okay, uh, well, I'll, I'll move up towards where they are and see, okay. see what's... what's I, right. I can't hear him. Can anyone else hear him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, you move up. Uh, Lucas, Dewey, and Taryn have already filled the area, so you're still uh, odd man out. Uh, you notice, may, you know what? Give me a percentage, or yeah, give me a percentage roll, please. I don't know if you hear uh, my knees. Oh, percentage. Sorry, I I didn't hear. I heard percentage, but I didn't hear that it was for me. Uh, 75. Uh, you see all three things. You see uh, Perpetua pick up a ring. Uh, you see Lucas revert out of bear form and start uh, pointing at some scrolls. And you also see the arrows down by his feet. So Lucas has distracted Dewey with the scrolls and the arrows are at his feet. Perpetua has already grabbed the ring. Um, next okay. up, 18, Taryn. Oh, is there anything else to find in this room? Did Did you, want, the you, you can investigate. All of this magic shit was right in front of the door. The, beyond the door, it looks like a study. So there's a padded chair, a little end table, Oh, we and everybody is there. everybody is focused in on the shit. Well, I still I've been, I, I still have my thirty feet radius. Right for magic. Okay. Well, I go into the study, which I probably would have done last time, anyways. Uh, I go into the study. Is there any um, containers, you know, like chests or armoires or whatever in there that might hold stuff? Uh, give me an investigation check. There's a huge armor section of. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Even this dice roller fucking sucks tonight. Ten? Uh, you notice something unusual about the ottoman. All right, I'll go check out the ottoman then. Fair it's enough. actually Persian. Seventeen, Dewey. Uh, I have been distracted with <laughs> scrolls, but is this does the study itself has books? That's what I was asking earlier. Yeah, no, no books. No books. No books. <laughs> Start to check out the scrolls then. Leather, uh, ivory, or bone? Bone. It is, it is a scroll with a magic user spell. Two second levels of your choice. Uh, and that was the bone. Two second level. Back to, or I'm sorry, uh, Lucas. Uh, yeah, so I thought I was already in the study. I didn't know that this was still the entrance. So I'll continue on to the study area. You're skipping the arrows entirely? Uh, I don't care about arrow, arrows. Okay. And the arrows can be bolts if they're easier for you. Oh, I, I don't give a shit. Bolts. Anyway. If they were bolts, I, well, I'll snag them on the way out because I do use a crossbow. Uh, Lucas, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Cool, cool, cool. Nine. Ah, uh, there's just some old fucking curtain behind the uh, chair <laughs> in the study. Ooh, I want to check out the curtain. Anything okay. behind the curtain? If we can find something behind Stone curtain. wall. Stone wall? Yeah, it's just some <laughs> stupid tapestry of some kind of battle scene, it looks like. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I want to... With a nine. <laughs> oh, got it. Hmm, must be boring. I can use it for uh, kidney wipe, wipe later. Wiping your ass, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Top of the order, Blake, how many times does this blink spell work? It lasts for a minute. Did we say six second combats? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I got seven, I got six more. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I mean, if you want to resolve if you want to resolve them all beforehand, I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's go ahead and resolve them. Go ahead and make your rolls. Anytime you okay. go ethereal. I need a percentage. Uh, I stay. I stay for turn five or for turn five uh, for turn six. I disappear. Uh, give me a percentage. Uh, Ninety. 
four. Uh, whatever it is seems to be skirting you. Okay. Uh, stay for the next round, so that's seven. Stay for eight. Disappear on nine. Percentage? For, again, 94. Uh, still skirting. It looks like it's trying to get around behind you. And I disappear again on the last one. And this one, I, that was my last one. That is 59. Uh, something is coming at you at a high rate of speed. It looks it, like a tornado. <coughs> I, I, I'm not going back. That was my last one. So if it catches me before I go back, I need to know. Okay. Uh, D12 against me. Uh, six. Five. It's not going to catch you before you go back. Okay. So uh, you feel all, all, that's resolved, all of that's resolved then. You feel the buffeting, uh, and right as this hurricane like wind gets to you, you're back in the room. Uh, so uh, during the next. My turn. Minutes, yeah. D during his turns. Uh, do you guys want to do anything else? I know Taryn's got the only one thing of interest because Lucas is going to use the tapestry as a poop rag. Well, I, stay, I stayed for th for two consecutive turns, though, before all of that. I would have wanted to go and check out. I, I would have helped Taryn with the bolts. Oh, is that oh, correct? Okay. Yeah, I got you. I'm playing with the ottoman right now. I just didn't know. Oh, yeah. I, I would have I finished. Pick, we'll say I finished picking them all up and I'll give them to her at the end. Gotcha. Cool. We'll so, Taryn, what do you want to do with this weird ottoman? Why is it weird? <laughs> That's what I want to know. It looks out of place. It doesn't match. Uh, and it's, we'll say, hide of a strange animal. Whereas <laughs> the old chair is cloth. It's not a, a right? It's a mimic. <laughs> so make it out of human flesh? Human leather? Oh, uh, give me a medicine check. Oh God, I don't know if I want to make this roll. My rolls have been bad tonight. Six. No you, clue. You have no idea what it is. It's probably baby flesh because it's really soft. Oh. Ooh, I'll let I let other people. But anyways, does it look like it opens up? I don't know. Give me an investigation check. Touch it. Touch it. Poke it. Poke it. Oh, for fuck's sakes. That's only a 10. God damn it. Uh, yeah, it looks like it opens. You can <laughs> figure out which corner it opens on. Because you're What's that? retarded. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my dice. It's you're trying dice. to open it up from the hinge side, and it's just not going. I can help. I would try which from the other side. Well, you know what? I'm only going to let you help if you turn into bear form and all the yeah, shit. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, if you want to kick it over and help her, that's fine. You can come help me if you want. I don't care. It's fine with me. Yeah, I'll help because this tapestry is boring as fuck. And you're you're, you're the closest. Uh, between the two of you, I would assume you're going to go ahead and figure out which corner actually <laughs> opens up. And a pungent aroma comes up and out of this thing. Pungent. Hey, this is made out of uh, cedar, but. The pungent odor comes from what is inside. Lucas Peter and Taryn, give me a constitution check. Did I use? All right, I'm going to use the mage who study this is. Constitution check or save? Check. Uh, that would be a 15. Lucas, uh, the uh, your nose does not like this smell. Taryn? It's not bad. It's it's kind of uh, gamey. What is it? Does it is tobacco. Oh, it's just like it's been sitting in there forever? In cedar. It's like a humidor. I'm not sure. If, I don't think they use cedar in a humidor. Whatever they use in a humidor. Yeah. yeah. So when you open it up, the secret stash of tobacco is in there. It wafts up. Lucas instantly wrinkles his nose, doesn't much care for it. Uh, you, however, eh, it's not bad. So it's been in there. You're supposed to hide your weed in coffee grounds, not fear. 
So how big an air, how big a thing of tobacco is it? I don't suppose it'd be, I was thinking we're not hiding anything in there because we still haven't awesome. found what we've been looking for. Yeah, it's definitely not the part of the artifact you're looking for. You aren't going to find that in this room. Well, if anybody but if it's wants, a whole ornament of tobacco. Some really old tobacco. It's, it's like a it's, it's like a coffee cup size. I mean, it's a good yeah, chunk, yeah. and it might be worth something. So uh, we'll go around the corner. Uh, Dewey, uh, do you want to look at one of the other um, scroll tubes? Yeah. Which one, leather or ivory? Ivory. <laughs> uh, you do not know what these spells are. Well, you kind of think they're clerical. Uh, Manise, I will assume uh, that you are in. You can help Perpetua collect the bolts or look at the leather scroll tube. I'll look at the leather one. Ooh. It is a single mage spell. Mage? Uh, so, magic user. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ar Arcanist. An arcane spell, and what were the other two? It's fourth level, though. Yeah, the, the other one was two arcane spells, and this one, uh, the, the ivory was uh, clerical. Uh, Lucas, you and Taryn uh, deconstructed the ottoman. Perpetual, what do you want to do? Are you I are collecting the yet. bolts? Okay. Yeah. So there are 18 of those. And uh, like I said, you can do arrows or bolts. I really don't give a shit. Whichever they're, works out better for they're, you. They're going to tear in. Okay. There are three scrolls and one ring. Yeah, I got the ring. I'm not giving that up. Yeah. Yeah, why don't we find out what it is first? Oh, no, I'm putting that motherfucker on. Uh, so, Maniz and Dewey. Yeah. Uh, are you guys going to flip flop on the scroll tubes? Because I have magic users in clerical? leather and bone and cleric in ivory. And Dewey took the ivory and Manise took the leather. So are you going to pass them back and forth? Or what do you want to do with them? Well, I mean, I, I, I would think it would be a good idea as this is kind of useless for me uh and vice versa but i i mean it comes up to dewey obviously yeah i'll trade okay we we'll trade the two second level spells whatever you guys want to pick i don't give a shit uh i will roll randomly for the fourth level spell just to see how bad it is uh let me you know what i'll do that now uh, as we go through final thoughts. Uh, Taryn, start us off with final thoughts while I try and figure out what spell this is going to be, please. Damn it, we haven't found the item yet? Nope. I was going to say. Get around here somewhere. I mean, where else haven't we looked? I guess down West, pathway. all of West. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pathway number three. I mean, I know mine was a dead end. So that's right, there's another, there's another way but yeah this was fun um was that the thing seriously was the endeavor hold of what you thought might kill us no it's something else no, we, 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 didn't, we didn't get to the big bad i'm assuming ah all right so uh no you did not i'll bet well wherever the big bad is it's probably sitting on the item that we need i would i would take that as a probable uh blake uh final thoughts I think it was that Noel that the Guardian of Faith obliterated. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> what the fuck no. does that do? Uh, what does what do? I, I'm looking at this spell, so. What uh, uh, but yeah, no, uh, good, good, good game. Uh, I, I, I'm like, I, we, we're going to have to try and figure out a better way to handle Blink, because that is a pain in the ass. Ah, uh, yeah, Blink is just a disaster. Uh, <laughs> Ernest, what do you think? Uh, I, I thought that was fun. I'm glad that we 
stuck together and made this session go by a lot faster. Uh, yes. And had you guys now to be fair, had you guys, uh, been discombobulated, I think the boulder zombie would have fucked you guys up a lot more, uh, especially uh, the evisceration spell. You got really lucky. I just rolled like crap. So. Yeah. But even if you did, well, if you doubled that, yeah, I would have been down. Um, but it, well, wait, how many, oh, you did 17 points. That would have been 34 doubled. I uh, still, and I still would have been conscious. Okay. Uh, Chris, what'd you think? You're muted. <laughs> ah, it was, it was good. Uh, starting to kind of get used to not getting knocked out every time. Yeah. So maybe yeah, I'm going to get a little cocky uh, and die I'm soon. Sorry. <laughs> hold on. Let me roll some dice here. Uh, okay. Three natural twenties. Ah, uh, Kyle, go ahead. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Uh, I came in in a terrible mood, and I am leaving in a very happy mood. So this was a good session of D&D, and I appreciate all of you guys for making it fun. Uh, Don't get too happy because that fourth-level spell is Fabricate, and that looks like shit. Oh, yes! I love it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I read it and I still don't understand it. So uh, whatever. I, 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 is that where you can basically create like any matter, but it's only lasts for like an hour. It depends like, on what kind oh, the of amount of like, like you can you up. can take a clump of trees and turn it into a bridge. So yeah, um, temporary, temporary. Oh, gems, cash out yeah. and flee. <laughs> The idea is you actually take the fourth level wizard spell and you fabricate the magic item that you wanted in the first place. And that's how you do it. <laughs> I don't that's think where that's where it's been hiding all along. I don't it's think helpful. that's I don't think that's right. Uh, <laughs> folks, thanks for joining us tonight on campaign night. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, uh, feel free. If <laughs> more importantly, you want a seat here. Uh, you can discuss it with us before you do that at on the Discord channel, but we'd love to have you. Tuesday, we have a Between the Rolls, which is our talk show, uh, where we just uh, shoot the shit about D&D &D topics. Uh, I don't know if we'll be doing another D&D uh, &D shut-in. Uh, we might. Might be Cacophony. Don't know. Uh, apologies to oh. Kyle and Blake for fucking that one up. Um, and then next Saturday will be the one shot. So uh, if you want to see, trust us, uh, you can't do any worse than us. I mean, you know, Blake and Kyle and no. Carol have all been better at DMing than I am, and that's fine. Uh, but I keep it to two hours. I keep it to two hours, bitch. I don't care. Better DM. He said it. I win. <laughs> you know what? I said it because I'm self-deprecating, but Heidi and the others will tell you that I'm way better than Kyle. <laughs> uh, folks, that's it. For, <laughs> that's it for campaign night. Don't forget, if your mom's still alive, mine isn't. Uh, tell her happy Mother's Day for putting up with your shit. I'll go over the phone. Out. Over the phone. Over the phone. Cover your mouth if you're going to do that shit. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us, and you have a great rest of your weekend. Bye. And wash your hands. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Especially if you're out of toilet paper. Use the tapestry that it was worth a thousand gold pieces. <laughs> Thank you for watching MHI TV. This concludes our broadcast.